your relationship with yourself when you see people are treating you in one particular manner i think that's reflection that how you treat yourself do you love you do you trust you do you respect you these are very important questions see yourself means that you see your best and worst at the same time you don't judge it Assalamu alaikum I am Iram Shahad I welcome you to Iram at Life once again Iram at Life is the place where we come to explore topics like life skills positive personal traits self awareness and strength building and how we can develop better coping mechanisms to live life up to an optimal level today's topic is very fascinating to me and i think you will enjoy having a conversation on that as well the topic is your relationship with yourself i think your all relationship in this world are determined by this fact that how you are having your relationship with yourself when you see people are treating you in one particular manner i think that's reflection that how you treat yourself when people come to us and show us the sides the places the dimensions of ourselves that we we don't want to see we are unwilling to see or or parts of ourselves that we ignore we dismiss and we refuse to accept are the places or the area where the split actually falls and that split is between your real self and your shadow self believe it or not but we all are having shadow parts and the part that we cover in hide because we consider it unacceptable unworthy unpleasant and we try to cover it up by some pretentious behavior or we pretend to be someone that we are not just to get that social approval and i think that creates even more gap between your real self and the self that you are acquiring or you are becoming which would eventually take you towards unhappiness discontentment or restlessness so if you are going through some of that shadow self and you are very uncomfortable or you are in a state of denial that yes these unpleasant unworthy sides of me shouldn't exist the point is the deal is that you need to accept it how do you accept it you got to talk to that self you can create questions like that why this event this person this place this situation is bothering me what is making me upset and what is the the actual emotion behind this feeling which is creating that whole uh, sense of discomfort within me and now i ask you uh, a question which is very sweet if i put it this way that do you love you do you trust you do you trust your feelings do you trust your emotions do you honor you do you respect you these are very important questions because many of us are having disjointed or dysfunctional relationship with ourselves and that's not because of us it's because of the culture that we live in because we are conditioned this way we are uh, taught this way we are told that you you got to put society at at the top of the uh, place in your life and you fall somewhere at the bottom of of every all your to do list so uh, it's it's conditioning but how do we develop that that acumen which which actually take us closer to to our real self and i would suggest that you pick pen and paper and write down the answer to this question that who am i yes who am i is the question that will take you closer to your real self not the one that you are uh having in your social capacity not the one uh, the answer is not in a thing that what you do the answer lies when you are all alone away from all these social titles and responsibilities and obligations 
who are you find the answer on that and do write me your answer on iram at life at hotmail.com the email address is popping on your screen do write and another set of questions that would take you closer to your real authentic self is what matters to you yes what matters to you what do you value and the the how would we discover the answer again we would write it down what matter to me is and then you'll keep writing things and figuring out that whether i value traveling i value learning i value family i value freedom so you will be having clarity in terms of your life choices now what happens when you are aware of your values and your likes and dislikes that people also reciprocate the same back to you who who are you is coming back to you because you are attracting all the things that are in harmony with your own value system and this is how the nature operates and um, the the um, downside of this uh, lack of self knowledge is that when you don't know what you don't know what you value in your life people try to provide or come up with deals which are lesser than your your actual potential your sense of self worth is compromised because you are not having complete knowledge of yourself so when you have self knowledge you negotiate better you get better and you you enjoy being full in almost all places that you you go to and um, next is that um, the the final part of our video today is that how do we stay consistent on our self knowledge because yourself is is uh, is a very dynamic being and and it is constantly changing so there are few things that you got to make it as a habit for your consistent and regular touch with yourself is that you need to see yourself yes see yourself means that you see your best and worst at the same time you don't judge it you don't deny it you accept your all shades whether it's dark or light or positive or negative you got to absorb and accept all shades and dimensions of your self without judging it second is that you need to accept yourself now self acceptance is a satisfaction that you are having within yourself despite all these negativity despite all the deficiencies you are accepting yourself regardless of your past behaviors and practices and choices you accept yourself fully and wholly next is you appreciate yourself now appreciation is that we all human beings long for and i consider appreciation just like water to plants because human beings flourish when they are appreciated and our our expectation from our loved ones our our workplaces from our higher management we try to seek appreciation of our work our abilities and our opinions our belief system so what happens that you need to develop this relationship with yourself where you are appreciating your own self for all good and bad and the choices that you are making and and whatever little Uh, achievements you are having see when we are comparing ourselves with other contemporaries this social comparison actually drains us and breeds self criticism where we should actually appreciate ourselves our struggles our achievements are absolutely personal you cannot compare yourself with any other person and expect that you will be giving appreciation to yourself unless you achieve or be someone like them so you need to appreciate yourself unconditionally without making any comparison with any other person you need to compare yourself with your past and you are good to go second is the um, appreciation and the next one is the 
you need to honor yourself and honor yourself means that you allow yourself to be sometimes making choices which are not perfect we nobody is perfect and you allow yourself to sometimes fall down sometimes you need to be okay with with whatever fluctuation you are having reduce the bars that you are always bringing to yourself and uh, honor your gift also see where your strength your potential where lies that light and once you understand that what pumps you up what actually makes you tick is the place where you need to embrace that whole uh, capacity of your real self now how do we become authentic in our being is that we commit to be better within ourselves because if you are aware of all the lows and highs and good and bad side of yourself you have higher chance or you are having better chances to evolve as a better person and you will commit yourself to be continually improving in your personal domain i hope you would find these tips helpful in your uh, personal development thank you very much for watching this video i'll meet you in a next episode keep watching keep enjoying stay posted with iram at life always rise and shine thank you very much